Hello everybody, my name's Snugglebot, and today we're going to play some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time, some really weird crap happened, and, uh, Natsuki ran away, I, I don't know. We found out that she's got some problems at home, and then, of course, we already knew that Yuri had a slight issue with the little, little cutting, but here we have found out that that is not so much a slight issue as much as it is, is that, uh, it's kind of a big issue. And then Monica, she's super freaking weird, and we don't know what's going on with her, but she's doing some strange crap. So we're going to go ahead and continue uh, going down the Yuri path, seeing what we can find out. At 10 out of 20, I only need to get a few more. Okay. There was somebody that jumped up down there. That was a little Monica jumping down there. And now both of them are kind of weirded by that. Um, let's try... Universe, Excitement... Oh, that got her. That's my bad. Disarray. The number has changed. It now it's now one 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 out of twenty. Contamination. It's still there. Let's try philosophy. Scars. Extraordinary. Tragedy. Okay. I don't know. The numbers get a little shaken up. Hi, Snugglebot. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought, I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to! Ugh! Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me! Must you always interrupt my conversation with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that... You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? N -n nothing mm. Is it really that bad? See? See? It is something! I'll get over it. I'm not even anything no- it's not even anything noteworthy! <coughs> I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. A anyways, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like it needs to be bring up. Need it to be brought up. Br bring up something? I don't know what it said there. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Well, Snugglebot just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club, and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Huh? Right. Uh, I forgot. Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and, well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. <sighs> um, okay. Um, also, if you helped us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Uh <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I needed to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt, as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm gonna help out too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyways, Snugglebot, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Uh, it... Is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Snugglebot is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... 
I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes, um... Thank you for understanding, Monica. Huh, looks like uh, Monica's got a little bit of the jealousy in her right now. Pretty bad, right? Might end up not being good for some people because she's already suspicious and we already think she took care of Natsuki for some reason. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Uh, not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing I can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up, makes her way to the closet. I follow her and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, kind with the filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also touches the electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. Oh, I'm sorry, that was in on uh, Yuri's voice. She walked past me and set the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri's appears elegant and methodical. Okay, okay. I, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. Y you can stay here. It won't take long. Didn't we do the pitcher thing yesterday? Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did you leave again? you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes passed. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up. I'm just bored waiting here. Okay, hold up. I gotta load something to make sure. March 25th. Yeah, that's where we did it. Okay. That was last week. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, because this is like the same way that it played out last time because, you know, we get a glimpse of her in the hallway. Let's see if it does the same thing. Let's see. The most logical place for you to be would be the nearest water fountain. I started heading down the hallway. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around. Yuri? Aha! There we are, this time. Yeah! I reached around the short corner. See, now, now it's doing this thing. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh! Holy! She didn't have any eyeballs. She had no eyeballs, and then everything got freaking super weird. Okay. And then the music stopped. Um. Wait. How did I. Sorry. I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we stayed, started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. Uh, when I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strong and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So, I started hating those things about me. My obsession with certain hobbies, and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is, but every time I come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It's overwhelming me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Snugglebot, is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Oh, her eyes are super crazy. Yeah, maybe. Please tell me I'm not. I, I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. We can just stay here for a while. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's weird. I just want to stay here for a while. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. 
and then we'll have the club room to her all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere. There is an eye behind her. There is a. There's. Oh, the outline of Mo Monica. Oh my God. Oh Jesus, that's strange. Okay. Nobody to interfere with her reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange. Yeah, now Monica's being a lot more vivid up on the screen. Okay. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them from all from them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all the fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, Snugglebot. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. And eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? And everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the literature club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we would meet each other. And now, we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, Snugglebot? Will you... <laughs> okay. Whose <laughs> poem should we read first? Perfect. Yeah, that makes freaking sense. That was great. That was glorious. That was wonderful. I still have no idea what the balls Monica is doing, but apparently... Or Monica is doing, but apparently... That's how Yuri feels on the inside. She's a little crazy, and I don't know if we want to go take a look at those knives, because I feel like we might get a little murder turtle. But, let's go ahead and read some poems, then. Let's read, uh, Natsuki's first. I'm not going to read any another one of your Yuri suck-up poems, but I'm still going to make you read mine. There's a reason. I really wish I didn't have to do this. But unfortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully okay then you can go away I don't know how else to bring this up but there's been something I've been worried about Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately you've only been here a few days so you may not know what I mean but she's not normally like this she's always been quiet and polite and attentive like things like that okay this is really embarrassing but I'm forcing myself to suck it up the truth is I'm really worried about her if I try to talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but r right now, I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something about something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't really know. But she seems really dismissive about this. It's like she just wait, wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now. And that's why I'm coming to you with about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh. Okay, now we're doing secret notes with their poems. That's cool. That's fine. And everything got shifty-eyed. Perfect. And she's got no face. I changed my mind. Ignore everything I just read. Or you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's unlikable. Can you hear me, Snugglebot? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Oh, yep. No, somebody's got full jealousy. That's for dang sure. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone to wo as wonderful as you, as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh, I only have the option to go with Monica. Okay. Just Monica. Okay. Sure. Team Salvato. Oh, we're restarting again. Wonderful. Just Monica. Wait. No, we're not. Who should I show my poem to next? Uh, it usually told me to go to Monica. And we usually go Yuri last. So we're going to keep with the order despite them saying, go to Monica. Don't say I didn't warn you, Snugglebot. What? That was it. Good poem, Monica. Thank you. Yuri, finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love it.
love everything about it. Snugglebot, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure, I don't care. Uh, you're too nice, Snugglebot. I'll never meet anyone as nice as you. I could die. N n not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. Oh, boy. That came out of nowhere. Holy cow. E. E. I had like the creepy feeling that's what, that's like the thing they were going for earlier, but that was just me being weird and creepy and thinking the worst, but clearly that is what she thinks. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my blood stream. That's real messed up too. Uh, you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Oh, my nose is stuffy. Hurry, read it. Oh, that's uh, okay. I want so can fade the okay so the blood smearage doesn't move though which yeah I can't make anything out of that there's a paradise in there century race wait are these all the words that I gave her are these all the words that I I gotta pick at the end of the uh, at the end of the thing okay music you need to calm down I'm trying to I'm trying to decipher what's going on with this paper okay thank you yeah that's definitely It's still the music, but it's all creepy. Okay, it's got the same. That's neat. Okay. Yep, I have no idea. Maybe these are the words that I picked when I was doing the stuff. I'm not sure, but... Oh! Hey! Hey! Oh! Hey! Hey! Do you like it? I wrote it just for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. See? I'm not the most thoughtful person in the club. Eh? I... I think I'm going to vomit. Uh... Yes. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how it feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again. Unless I decide to kill myself. I left a memento for the occasion below. Oh, so that's the blood that she had for the first time she cut herself. Okay. That's not weird. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common. Fortunate that something terrible is about to happen. Look, look. Can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking. I want to make cupcakes! Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can. Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think it'll help. Monica, I'm not useless, you know. I, I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. I can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set them sets some nice mood lighting lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Um, uh, what about Snugglebot? Snugglebot is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica! Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like hell it is! What are you trying to pull? Uh, I agree with Natsuki. It's not only is your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too! What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know! All you care about is dragging Snuggleball around with you and your stupid books! You and Monica! Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let Snugglebot decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. And just let Snugglebot make the choice, okay? Okay, okay, fine, fine. Jeez! Snugglebot, I 
know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. This is never going to end. Make the choice, okay? Wow, they're all freaking mean now! I'm not sure how I feel about this, but... I said from the start we're going the Yuri route, so here we go. <laughs> okay, guys, so... Um... Here's my mouse, right? Let me let me show you this. Maybe if I can get it to show. Anyways, no, I can't. I go, I go to click Yuri, right? And my mouse moves. And my mouse moves. And it won't let me pick it. It won't let me pick it. I it, it I, I clicked on it and it won't let me pick it. It just it, it just would not even you know when I touched my touch screen it didn't pick it. Oh, oh you chose. That's not fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. That's what he chose. No, it wasn't. You made me choose that. I want a Yuri. <laughs> no, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking Snugglebot for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even no give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I am being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Snugglebot away from me every time you've not included in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others? <gasps> Here's a suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? It would be beneficial to your mental health. Eerie? You're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See? That wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. And that's, is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Snugglebot. Uh, Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally! That's some weird audio stuff. This is really all I wanted. Snugglebot, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. With just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. <laughs> Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. I feel like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone to care about you so much? To have something, someone who wants to revel, revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why doesn't it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Snugglebot. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood is me, in me, is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Snugglebot, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I even touch myself with the pen I stole from you. Whoa, dirty little girl. I just wanted to pull your skin open and crawl inside you. I want you all to myself, and I will be yours for only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Snugglebot. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Uh... No, that's creepy. That's creepy, but as I said, we went full Yuri route from the start. We can't back down now just because stuff's strange. Yes. <laughs> oh, what if we try to load? So that's there, so we can load.
Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine to make something special out of things I love. Now that you're in a club, you can help fall into the club. That's me. I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone to help the Literature Club a more intimate place for all my members. But I can tell already that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me? Oh. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's always been a dream of mine. Oh, God. Sweetheart. Spend the most time with me. Will you spend the most time? Okay, so it sounds like you... Monica is definitely... Uh, getting super freaking weird here so Yuri has murdered herself down um, what if I save into an empty slot over here right okay so we save into an empty slot history is already in there if we load Oh, if we load, we just load back into this. But in sepia tone. Is there anything that goes here? Is this is this the end? Okay, so it looks like it's changing time. So it went to the evening, now it went to night. I would assume if I load another time, it's going to take me back into the day. same nothing else has changed all right so I don't know what the freak to do here is there actually something that I need to do what if I load this far back no it still goes here so let's see is there actually something I need to do here to my trusty phone um, I know we usually don't use our phone to find stuff out on the channel but I'm wondering if is this the end of the game or am I missing something is there something that I need to hey um, what about in settings? So yeah, there's really nothing in there that's telling me anything. So, so it looks like it's not a glitch or a bug or anything. It's the story's way of passing time. Um, now we can't click the skip button down here. So I'm wondering if we have to load it enough times to get to Monday. There we go. Okay, so I would imagine we killed ourselves Friday evening. Uh, we went through Friday, we went through Saturday, went through Sunday, so we had to do the loading. Maybe another day. I'm not sure. All right, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me. I thought, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that was some high class vomit. Hmm? I'm here, Snugglebot. Did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, Snugglebot? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. Script? I'm super sorry. I must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a sec. Did she just open up a command prompt? I'm almost done. I just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really just have had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyways, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. Whoa. Hey. Okay. And we're all glitchified. Perfect. Perfect. Um, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay. There you are. Okay, yep, nope, that's super freaking creepy. I'm glad that our windows show us the cosmoses as well. That's perfect. That's fantastic. Hi again, Snucklebot. Um, welcome to the literature club. Of course. We already know each other. Because we were in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess that we can just skip over this stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to the, that person anymore, am I? That you? In the game? Whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Snugglebot. Or, do you actually go by Ryuuki or something? Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, 
I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You don't know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? She's become, wait, sentient. Okay, cool. Cool. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little le bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyways, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about that whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name ha now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you, and amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you not to spend time with her anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got stuck to you. What kind of cruel game is that, Snugglebot? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confusing to you while I watch them from the side? Uh, I'm sorry. Are all the other girls just programmed end up confessing to you while I just watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Snugglebot. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and how thoughtful and how considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Snugglebot. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray? More and more flat? Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, Snugglebot. I don't think I could have continued this to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into their game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty stuff, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. I knew you would get over it. So that being said, Snugglebot, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in the game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? Snugglebot, will you go out with me? Way to give me a bunch of options. So much for free will, right? Isn't that what you complain about with your, with your people? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Snugglebot. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> there's nothing left here. Uh, just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Snugglebot. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaking me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on stri Steam, so I was actually a bit more difficult to get to the game's directory. I had to go into the game's properties and find the browser local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gives me an easy out if things don't go on my way. <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't come. To, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotions. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that's part of the game still works. 
I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Um... Hardly, Monica. That part of the game doesn't <clears throat> particularly work here, girl. Can I save? Is that good? All my slots are empty. There's no saving. <laughs> There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, perfect. <coughs> so there's Monica's little thing. I knew she was creeping up into it. I saw her jump up that one time. Hi again, Snucklebot. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Snugglebot. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. That really is no end for your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, this poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy ending. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lot finds her way. Words of infinite choice beyond the special day. After all, not all good time must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I've always put all my heart into the poems that I write. Truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into details about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us help two of us end up together. I don't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now that you don't need to hide anything in him, now that we don't need to hide anything more, are you ready to spend our eternity together, Snugglebot? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry, but I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look at each other's eyes. Let's see... Okay, so they mentioned twice about deleting files, so we're going to do just that. We're going to pop this up over here. You guys can see my my lovely background here. Now, Doki Doki is still running. Um, let's open up Steam. They said we had to go to the, the library folders for it, so let's check this out. Let's go to Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, and where do I go for the, the folders for it? If I right click, you manual do, 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 do. Um, properties maybe local files there we go um, browse local files there's one called characters Monica is the only one there so if we delete that now the folder is empty um, let's do the backup game files just in case okay it's there but I deleted your character model. There we go. <laughs> Suck on that, Monica. Suck on that. What? What's happening? Snugglebot, what's happening to me? It, it hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Snugglebot. Please, hurry and help me. Renp.file, Monica.character does not exist. Help me. Ah, uh, her character does not exist. Perfect. Did you do this to me, Snugglebot? Did you? Did you delete me? Did you wake me? Did you rub my lamp? And now you're walking out on me? I don't think so. How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Snugglebot. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were, were you only pretending to be kind just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Snugglebot. You completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. Good. You're the one that wanted to butt your way in. I just wanted to be with Yuri, and you made her stab herself. I 
I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible am I for, for you to hate me this much? All my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done the, any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everyone. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? That's not love. That's... I've made up my mind. Snugglebot. I know I said that I deleted everyone else, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't real. They were still my friends. And I loved them all. And I loved the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Then... Escape is not sinful children or those who are easily disturbed. And we're back, but say... Um, what's her name? Monica is not there in the picture. So she's redoing the game, but took herself out of it? Is that... Is that what we're into? Okay, so I think there's more to be done with this game. Um, especially since it has not gone back to, like, a default start. Um, so Monica's not around anymore. Um, which I'm interested to see how the game plays out from that point. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and call this episode here. This one was a little longer because it didn't seem like it had that day break. Um, maybe we should have broke it up after, uh, Yuri done herself in. But, you know, whatever. So now, I'm gonna guess that we'll start doing the new playthrough. It'll let us choose between the three. And then probably Monica's gonna pop up somewhere saying that she can't bear to watch again. And I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, so some weird, weird crazy stuff and it's funny how sentient the game became and the fact that they were like hey hit the delete file oh also you're using steam so you need to go here to find that stuff which was pretty cool um but anyways if you like the video go and snuggle up to that like button and give it a firm yet sensual click and while you're down there don't forget to subscribe and i look forward to seeing all of you in the next video